of what exactly took place near Naco Tuesday morning, but we do know all evidence points to friendly fire claiming the life of Agent Ivy. It is a real risk for anyone in law enforcement. Marcelino Benito explores the dangers of friendly fire and the fog of war. He continues our Not On Your Side team coverage. He died doing his job, responding to an area of difficult terrain, even harder to navigate in the dark. There's a lot of similarities. Uh, you know, you, you're, you're called to an area, whether you're in the military or you're a police officer, and they're often unknowns. People move, you look at their area that they were in, which is a very remote wilderness area. Lots of things can happen uh, in the dark, you're not sure, so it's tough. You know, it's just very, very tough. He's a Senate candidate now, but few know what it's like to be enveloped by the fog of war better than Dr. Richard Carmona, an ex-combat veteran and SWAT team leader. He says agents like Nicholas Ivey step up despite the risks. We lost an officer who's out there protecting us, and irrespective of the circumstances, uh, these are risky jobs. And whether we like it or not, friendly fire is one of those risks, even along the border. In a firefight, or in confusing situations where lots of things are happening, it's sometimes difficult to um, uh, always make perfect decisions. So, you know, again, I'm, I'm anxious to see the uh, final outcome of the investigation. The final results of the investigation could take time. He says hopefully every law enforcement agency can learn from it. For now, the focus should be on the extraordinary man who lost his life in service. My heart's broken that we lost a fellow officer. We have another one that's wounded. The circumstances, hopefully we can learn from once the investigation is done. But for now, uh, you know, we have to do everything we can to reach out to the family and, and help them through this, uh, you know, very tough time. Since it is an election year, we should mention we reached out to Congressman Jeff Flake for comment as well, but we did not hear back tonight. Marcelino, did Dr. Carmona say that there is anything that can be done in these kinds of cases to prevent friendly fire accidents? Jennifer, he says every situation is really different, so he did not want to comment on the specifics of this case until that investigation is complete. Marcelino, thank you.